Hello SketchUppers. Direct daylight access studies are used to visualize where shadows are cast, or conversely, where daylight enters a room. Daylight access is very important in building design as it affects occupant amenity and health, among other things. There are specialist SketchUp extensions that automate this type of analysis, like Sapphira. Here, we have a very simple example building that I've geolocated in Sydney. Look in through the window as I change the model time and you'll notice how the shadows shift through the day. If we want to visualize this effect from a standard floor plan perspective, you might initially consider using a section plane like this. However, a section plane not only hides all objects behind it, but also prevents them from casting shadows. So you end up with this effect where the sunlight enters the space through the ceiling. Unsurprisingly, you'll notice and experience the same effect if you hide the roof and ceiling objects, like this. Now, to avoid this, we can apply a transparent PNG texture to all of the objects above the floor that we're analyzing, but this can be a laborious process for large, multi-level projects. An alternative method to consider is to instead use the position camera tool. Start by aligning your camera to the bottom of the floor plan project or document south, then activate the position camera tool. Left click at the ceiling plane and hold, then drag down vertically and then release the left mouse button. What we've done here is position the camera at the ceiling looking down, but we haven't removed any geometry and so all the contextual shading is maintained. Another added benefit to this method is you can create a scene so that you can quickly switch back to this view whenever you want to. You can even export this view to layout and it will retain the correct daylight access. I hope you found this SketchUp Australia video enlightening.